welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a project life spread and this is actually my last project for the wild hair kits, which is super duper sad. Um, if you don't know, they are closing down. Uh, we're totally going to miss them in the crafty community. Um, super sad, but I am doing a kill a kit video at the end of the month. So you'll be able to see that. Um, I did post at the beginning of the month, the kit I got, and then, um, you can see the video at the end of the month of what I created and what I have left. Uh, this is such a beautiful kit, a great kit to end on. It was a petite one, but still beautiful nonetheless. Um, it had a lot of crepe paper magical forest in it, which is such a cute collection. I hope to get more of it. Um, and yeah, so what I'm doing here right now is I am just picking out some papers for my Project Life cards. Um, this page protector is quite odd in shape. Um, that's why you might have seen in the beginning I was measuring the dimensions because it's not four by six <laughs> like I thought it was when I first I thought some of these were like four by six, but they're not. Um, one of them's like five and a half by th three and a half and five by three or something three and a half or something weird like that. So they're quite uh, quite odd sizes but that's okay. I make it work. And I just have these little photos to go inside of them. And, um, I'm going like I just did. I cut out all of the, um, the background papers for them and I am going to just kind of lay them all out to see how it looks. And then if any of the photos need a little white background, then I'll do that as well. And, um, because it's such an odd size, it's usually like say it's five inches, it's usually like just under five inches because of the way pocket pages work. So they're not exactly the right size. So some of the pages sometimes are a little off um, in comparison to the ones behind them. So I'm just going to glue them together and some of them have a little outline of the page behind them, but that doesn't bother me at all. Um, I'm not going to be picky about these pages, but um, yeah, so the photos, I'm just going to trim them to size and then put a little white background on them, a um, little white mat so that they stand out a little bit more against the um, pretty patterned papers. I got some really pretty papers in my past few kits. Um, like I said, this is a petite, petite kit, but I added papers from previous kits into this one. Basically what I did was just put the leftovers from previous kits with this one and it all worked out perfectly. Um, I hope you're enjoying my spring blitz so far. I guess at this point I'm about, I'm about halfway, which is quite crazy. Um, I love doing these videos and my 30 days. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, but a lot of fun. It's especially weird during this time because I'm working a lot more because of the pandemic, um, because I'm an essential worker. So it's um, a little bit more crazy during this time. But at the same time, I'm not doing other things that I would normally be doing during normal life. So it does give me a little bit of extra time in that regard, which is great. So these videos have been a lot of fun to make. And um, I know I've been doing a couple Project Life videos lately and not everyone loves Project Life, but um, it's really given me an opportunity to catch up on a lot of pages, which is exactly what I need to do because this is from last June. And I just have a couple more um, pages to finish up from last spring and then I can print a whole batch more of photos hopefully which means that I can um, put them on a hard drive and delete them off my phone because I usually keep them on my phone until I print them so because printing just takes a lot of time but I do it in bulk and the last time I printed was probably like eight months ago maybe six months ago and it lasts, it, so it's lasted me six or eight months, which is great. So it lasts a long time when I do a big bulk printing. So maybe next week I will uh, print some. Anyway, um, let's see, what are these photos? The photo right there is at this time, I got really addicted to making these like fun food boards where I just put a, like fruit and vegetables and crackers and, and some cheeses on some food boards and it would just look cute and look fun. Photo bef 
below that is a picture of me and Harvey. And <laughs> I was squeezing her, I think a little too tight. And so I thought that love out loud would work really well. Um, because I was just loving her a little too much. Um, and her eyeballs look like they're like bulging out. Um, but of course it wasn't too tight. It's just like the angle and stuff. Um, the photo below that is a photo of our empty garden before putting all of our plants in, I think, or maybe they were just little, I don't know. I can't tell from here, but, um, the photo on the top left is I got my nails done bottom, right? I mean, bottom left is a photo of Andy with a carrot that he found, um, must've been from the previous year. So that was kind of fun. And I just love the large titles in this. I think it worked out really well and looked really cute. Those stickers to the right that I use that says love out loud, um, those I didn't put in my kit, but I might as well have because I use them on a lot of projects for this month and they turned out to be the perfect fit for this kit. But um, yeah, I love, love, love these glittery stars and hearts. I'm hoping Scrapbook Nerd gets these in and I'm hoping I can uh, buy some more packs of these. I don't love all the stickers in this pack, but I can always give some away to pen pals and then just hoard all those sparkly glittery ones. Anyway, that's it for me. I know it was a quick video, but um, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.